Today we have got a Royal Tournament inside Clash Royale and I'm going to show you guys the best deck to use. So yo, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like. Leaving a like really helps out the channel and I always really appreciate them. Also, if you could subscribe, that'd be amazing and let's hop right into it. So the deck we are using today is of course RG Skelly King. So into our first game and we are going to start by cycling a log. RG Skelly King is super strong this meta so I actually believe I could do super well with this Royal Tournament. I go Skelly King at the back, he goes Witch, I'm going to Mother Witch, the Witch. Obviously we are going to get some Piggies. He also goes Dark Prince and then Arrows, that's fine. Doesn't do too much to be honest, we are going to use the Skeleton King's ability. We have some Piggies and some Skeletons coming towards him. Mother Witch is putting in work and we are RG at the bridge because he's low on Elixir. Going to Fisherman away that Valkyrie and this is already a good game. We have already won and you guys can just see the power of this deck. We are of course going to 3 crown him for the extra crowns and we will throw him the good game. Like I said, this deck is just super powerful right now and in the meta and just like that, we are 12 and 1. We are going to open up this lightning chest. We get gold to begin with. We then get some royal recruits, star goblins, and free spells. My one loss in this challenge, by the way, was very early on, and I just wasn't concentrating. He hit me with the elite barbarian freeze. Just a better player. But I don't know if anyone else does that, but in these royal tournaments, like the first 5 to 10 games, I don't really concentrate. And it's just because a lot of the time you're not going to be facing a good player. I'm going to use my skeleton king ability. Hopefully we can get some good tower damage here. That's some damage. He also wasted the cannon so we can Royal Giant at the bridge here. Get ready to Fisherman in case he plays something. Goblin Gang, okay, we will log that. We also hit the Dark Goblin. Really good value. And of course, really good damage. Going to just play a Mother Witch at the back. I don't want to leak Elixir. Now he does have Fireball, remember, so we are going to rush him opposite lane very quickly. Very weird he has Cannon in this deck and Log. But we do use the Skeleton King ability there. That should be the entire tower unless this Valkyrie is so good. And it is so good. Okay. He also Fireballs away the Zappies. That's fine. He missed one though. Very good for me. Tried to activate King Tower there. It didn't quite work out. We are going to RG at the bridge. We have a Fisherman coming towards him to help out. And we will Log away that dark goblin we also hit the cannon and some of the goblin gang by accident that's great we are going to rush opposite lane with a skeleton king skarmy he wasted the cannon he wasted the valkyrie it's really good to go in going to just fisherman here again he plays another cannon so we can rg at the bridge and yeah this game's over prediction lock go okay he gave up oh no he hasn't okay let's go let's go all in double fisherman going to fireball the tower as well and that is a three crown and into the next game he starts with a skarmy at the bridge so we are going to mother witch that and then play a skeleton king obviously going to get a ton of souls fill up that bar and then i will pop the ability be very annoying he goes with a queen and uses the queen ability he also fireballs okay we get a ton of tower damage and i think i could fireball here and take out the queen yes we can a very good start he goes giant at the back he did waste the fireball so i can play zappies here all down one lane he then goes dark prince so we will actually play a skeleton king here just to protect and he goes graveyard so we are going to mother witch that graveyard we also pulled the giant to the opposite lane making sure it didn't tank for the graveyard and we will pop the skeleton king ability once again. I mean, this is just a masterclass. This guy does not stand a chance. Going to lock it, and that's another three crown. She into the final game after this by the way i will just throw away my other games and then open up the rewards you love to see a hog rider first play when you have fisherman in hand that's a free king tower activation going to split zappies and it looks like he's going to be 2.6 oh valkyrie okay not 2.6 and the lumberjack okay things got weird going to play a scar me up high here and then go with a skeleton king baby dragon too just why not going to ignore that baby dragon then use the skeleton king's ability a raged up baby dragon is a bit scary but so is a skeleton king and the Skeleton King's way more scarier. We RG in the pocket. Going to log away this Skarmy. Going to use my Skeleton King ability again on the King Tower. Not the best ability, but it does do some nice damage. And once again, this game's already over. Like I said, this is by far the best deck. It's super in the meta right now. There's very few bad matchups and i've just been dominating we are going to royal giant in the pocket once again fisherman there pulls away the lumberjack that is going to be two crowns and can we get the big three okay this is a lot of stuff coming towards me we will scar me up top here ignore that lumberjack going to play zappies for this hog rider and now he's in trouble going to play a mother witch here going to play a royal giant going to use my skeleton king's ability and prediction log wow that almost worked 
I was a bit slow, but that is another three crown. 15 and one is the final result. I will quickly show you guys my battle log so you guys can see the matches I'm getting, what I'm playing against and what I'm beating. I will again show you guys the one loss. I wasn't kidding when I told you he had a leap barbarian freeze. That's a life lesson. Concentrate in your games, everyone. But except from that, a very easy tournament finish. And now we're going to be a very good Samaritan and give away some free wins. Going to fireball the king tower. We are going to say good game. And he question marked me. Buddy, you get a free win. Don't question it. For anyone wondering as well, I'm going to try hard on my main account. We don't have fireball in our starting hand. Really, dude? Oh man, don't you just hate when this happens? When you're trying to give away free wins and then it matches you up against someone who's trying to do the same thing. Woo, 16 wins. Look at that. Fireball the king tower, say good game. And there we go. We do get the royal tournament rewards. We are going to get an epic chest, a giant chest, a legendary king's chest, and a magical chest. And let's do this. First off, we do get a legendary wild card, and then we have the first chest, the epic chest. We get two princes, four goblin drills, four baby dragons, and ten golems. Next up is a giant chest. We get gold, one epic wild card, 17 wizards, a ton of arrows, and mini peckers. Not bad. Now it's time for the big one, the legendary king's chest. We get gold to begin with. We then get common wild cards, rare wild cards, epic wild cards, and of course that legendary wild card. First choice, minions or mortars. Going to pick minions. Poisons or Tornadoes, I'm going to pick Tornado. Royal Delivery or Fire Spirit, I'm going to pick Fire Spirit. Royal Giants or Electro Spirit, I'm going to pick Royal Giants. Battle Healers or Earthquake, I'm going to pick Earthquake. Prince or Executioner, I'm going to pick Prince. And finally, that Legendary card, it does the spinning animation and we get the choice between a Sparky and a Magic Archer. Let's pick the Sparky, not bad. And then finally, we do have a Magical Chest. Gold to begin with, we then get Common Wild Cards, one Goblin Cage, two Three Musketeers, six Zappies, 12 battle rams, 10 poisons, and we have a legendary card out of this magical chest, which is very lucky. And we get the magic archer. Not bad. And there we are. Here's the deck once again. If you want to copy it, use it yourself. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. And as always, make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. Yeah.